Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 6.3 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 6.3 is about writing fractions in their simplest form. So we are going to take what we learned about writing, generating and writing equivalent fractions and change that to simplest form. So I just want to read the, the definition here for you of simplest form. It says, a fraction is in simplest form when you can represent it using as few equal parts of a whole as possible. You need to describe the part that you have in equal size parts. If you can't describe the part that you have using fewer parts, then you cannot simplify the fraction. So in other words, what they want is they want you to make it into a fraction that has the smallest number possible on the bottom. So one way to do that is to use models. And they've given us a model here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. See if I can make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay. So they've given us a model here. And they've told us that, sorry, trying to change to a pen. I lost my train of thought. They've told us that the fraction for this first model is 2 eighths. And they're writing it in an equivalent fraction of simplest form, which is 1 fourth. The way that they did that was instead of generating a, an equivalent fraction like we've been doing where we multiply the top and the bottom times the same number, this time, simplest form, you do the opposite. You've got to divide. So you've got to find a number that can divide both the top and the bottom equally. So that will let us reduce our fraction to its simplest form or make it smaller. Simplest form is just means how small can you make it. So we know that both 2 and 8 can be divided by 2 equally. So what they did was 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And in the picture you can see here, they just took this where it was broken up into 8s. See how they had eight pieces with all these lines? And instead, they broke it up into fours. And so it would be one of those four sections that's colored in instead of two of those eight sections that's colored in. So let's try that again. Here in the next one, we are starting with six tenths, and it wants to know how many fifths that would be. So you're asking yourself, what do you divide the 10 by to get a 5? Well, I divide 10 by 2 to get 5. And remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you must also do to the top. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So both the 6 and the 10 could be divided by 2s equally, which would give us 3 fifths. That's its simplest form. I cannot divide 3 and 5 by any, any numbers to get smaller numbers. So let's try again here. We're starting with 6 twelfths, and we want to see how we can make that smaller. So we're going to ask ourselves, what number can divide 6 and 12 equally? 1, yes, but that would give us the same thing. We could do 2s. We could also do, because 6 can be divided by 2 and 12 could be divided by 2. We could also do 3s, because 6 could be divided by 3, and 12 could by, be divided by 3. I can't do 4s. I can't do 5s. I can do 6s. 6 can be divided by 6, and 12 could be divided by, by 6. I'm going to choose 6, because it's my biggest number that can divide both of those equally. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I can say that 6 twelfths in its simplest form is 1 half. So here it says to simplify 6 tenths, you can combine 10 size parts into equal groups with two parts each. So, so they're just having us rewrite sort of like what we did up here, but instead of tenths, I mean instead of twelfths, we're doing tenths. So we're trying to figure a number that can fit both into 6 and 10 equally. I'm going to do 2 because it told us 
two parts each. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 6 tenths in its simplest form is 3 fifths. Okay, so that's the way to do it with models. Then here we have another way, which is using common factors to write 6 tenths in its simplest form. So you would write out first the factors of 6, 1 times 6, and 2 times 3, and the factors of 10, 1 times 10, and 2 times 5. Then you'd circle the common factors. They both have 1 and they both have 2. And you would choose to divide by your greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is 2. So 6 tenths, divide the top and the bottom by 2, would give you 3 fifths. So we got the same answer here, just we used factors instead. So this is the lesson for 6.3. It's how to write fractions in their simplest form. You need to remember you're going to have to divide. I think the easiest way is to use your greatest common factor to divide. But if you like models better, go ahead and use models. If you're in my class, you need to make sure that this page 236 in your big book is filled out to show me tomorrow at school. And also write down the password bear in your planner so that I know you watched the whole video. All right, if you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thanks.